Hello everyone, welcome back to another social studies lesson. Um, I'm so excited this week because you guys are going to be doing a little bit of teaching for us. And what I mean by that is we are going to be learning about holidays and traditions. So we're going to read like normal. And then at the end of the reading, you will be able to do a little bit of research on a holiday. Either one that's listed in the book or one that you do research on or you find online that you kind of find interesting. Um, and you guys are going to be teaching us on Flipgrid. So you're going to be showing us what the tradition is talking about what they do, what they believe, who celebrates it, where, where it comes from, and things like that. So more information will be given, obviously, on my website, what I expect you to talk about and what I want you to, um, you know, learn more about in your project. But I don't want it to be too, super stressful for you. So if it's getting hard and you can't really find the information, let me know. I can, I can maybe point you in the right direction. But I want you to go beyond your book because our book doesn't really give us a whole lot of extra detail kind of just skims the surface there's so much more we can learn about these holidays and holidays that aren't even in our book okay so um i want you to go on google for this or find a book maybe that you have at home about some holiday or maybe ask your mom and dad what they know about these different holidays or maybe a holiday family might celebrate um from a different culture so definitely go beyond the book this week um, but i can't wait to see what you guys find and research and you will share those with our class on Flipgrid, okay? Okay, so if you have your book, I want you to open 358. And we will start with holidays and traditions. So our what to know is what are some holidays and traditions that people celebrate? So we're going to be not only learning about our own holidays, but holidays around the world. People around the world express their culture with holidays and celebrations. Many of these holidays are also celebrated in the United States. So like we were saying, the cool thing about the United States is we not only have our own holidays like... Uh, Patriots Day and Labor Day and Fourth of July, but we have holidays that other cultures have brought in, like St. Patrick's Day and Cinco de Mayo and things like that. So we're a, kind of a unique place because we are lucky enough to celebrate all sorts of different things. Cultural holidays. Some holidays come from different cultures. They are celebrated by many Americans too. One of these holidays is St. Patrick's Day. On March 17th, the Irish celebrate St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day began as a religious holiday. It has grown to celebrate Irish culture. So I know my family, and I'm sure some of your families, celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And we talked about how on St. Baldrick's Day, we celebrate our Irish culture. Um, on, you know, the St. Patrick's Day Parade on the South Side, we celebrate the Irish culture. So that's kind of cool because our community, there are a lot of Irish families. And so we are able to celebrate that not only at our school, but in our community and in our city, there's a downtown parade. So that's super cool. And I know I'm very proud on that day to be Irish because all of those people come together. And even if people aren't Irish, they still come together. And that's the cool thing, too, about our community. Next page, Cinco de Mayo and Mexican Independence. Cinco de Mayo is celebrated in Mexico, which actually, I'm filming this on May 6th. So yesterday was Cinco de Mayo. It is also celebrated in many communities in the United States. The name is Spanish for the 5th of May. On this day in 1862, a small Mexican army won an important battle against France. Every September 16th, people in Mexico also celebrate their independence from Spain. Many Mexican Americans living in the United States celebrate too. They, cel they decorate their homes with lights. People enjoy food, music, and fireworks. So both of these holidays celebrate the unique history of the Mexican culture, and these are holidays that we recognize here in the United States, too. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a week-long celebration in late December. It celebrates the importance of family and community in African American cultures. Many cities have a Kwanzaa festival or a joyful gathering for celebration. Okay, if we look at these pictures, the first picture is Cinco de Mayo is celebrated today with traditional Mexican dances and music. In the bottom picture, each day of Kwanzaa honors a different value or principle in the community. So, Kwanzaa is celebrated around the time that um, we celebrate Christmas, and um, Hanukkah is also celebrated. So, those three holidays are all kind of around the same time. 360. New Year's Day. New Year's Day is the beginning of a new calendar year. Countries around the world celebrate the new year in different ways. On New Year's Eve, people in New York City gather in Times Square. They watch as a giant crystal ball is lowered just before the new year begins. Children in Belgium write messages on decorated paper for their parents to read on New Year's Day. So, New Year's is something that's celebrated all around the world. People celebrate um, in many different ways. They might do, like in New York City, 
um, our country does the ball dropping. But we also celebrate in specific cities. They might do something different in California for New Year's than they do in Chicago. And that's just based on your community and your state's culture. Chinese New Year. The Chinese New Year falls on a different date each year. This date is between January 21st and February 20th. Chinese New Year is celebrated in China and around the world. Chinese families gather for a special meal on New Year's Eve. Children receive red packets with money inside for good luck. So that's something Chinese New Year isn't celebrated the same day that um, the New Year we celebrate is, but it's still kind of the same thing. It's new beginnings, new year, um, a fresh start for all people. Thai New Year. The Thai New Year is called Song Songkran. Songkran is a Thai word that means to move or to change place. It is celebrated in April. April is a hot month in Thailand. People celebrate the new year by throwing cool water on one another. People walk on the streets with bowls of water or even a garden hose. Anyone who passes by is likely to get wet. So that's a very interesting tradition that they're kind of recognizing that it's a warm time of the month and warm time of the year. So they're, that's their tradition to spray people with water. And we know that we celebrate New Year's in January, so much different, right? We don't have that hot weather in Chicago, at least. All right, the summary. People express their culture by celebrating holidays. People of different cultures celebrate their New Year with different traditions. Okay, so I want you guys, we only talked about one, two, three, four, five, six different holidays. And New Year's, we talked about different cultures, um, how they celebrate. So about six different places we talked about. So obviously, there's way more holidays out there, right? So I want you guys, you may choose one from the book, but also I want you guys to maybe do a little bit more digging. A holiday like Hanukkah or... Um, you know, there's so many different ones out there, so do a little bit of research. You know, we don't all want to be doing the same one. We want to learn about different cultures. So I will put a list online, too, of different ones that maybe aren't listed in the book, but ones that you can totally do for your project, okay? So I'm going to read off the things that I want you guys to include in your Flipgrid video, okay? So obviously include what the holiday is called. What culture does this holiday originate from? So if I was doing, for example... Um, Cinco de Mayo. I could say um, this cult or this holiday originates from the Mexican culture. What kinds of celebrations or traditions does this holiday have? So that's something that you'll have to look up. You know, what do they do to celebrate? Do they have special meals? Do they do a parade? Do they um, have some sort of special dance that everyone in the family does? Do they do a family party? Something like that. And you guys will find tons of information online about this sort of stuff. Um, and anything else you learned about this holiday. So, did you find out that they do something super cool with um, their community? Do they do fireworks shows? Do they um, have special foods that they eat? Are there special other things that you learned about that weren't asked in these questions? So, have fun with it. I hope you guys learned a lot with it. And I can't wait to see all the research you do and everything you find. If you want to hold up pictures or kind of show us a little bit more visual, you totally can do that too. Um, but I don't want this to stress you guys out too much. So I just expect you to find at least two or three facts about the holiday um, and answer those questions, you know, on the baseline. And if you want to do more, totally do more. You are more than welcome to. Okay, if you have any questions, guys, let me know. And I hope you guys have fun with this. All right.